Hey everybody, it's Dean. I wanted to do a quick video today to talk, tell you about a uh, an interview I saw the other day with Tony Robbins, uh, Frank Kern, and John Reese. Those two guys are internet marketers, but they went to Tony Robbins to try to figure out, okay, we've got this great training online, but sometimes people never utilize it. You know, what's the problem? What can we do to increase, you know, the people's activity level? We know that if they just read the material and they implemented it, you know, what would happen, you know, for them and, and how could we increase our sales? But not only that, they just wanted some personal satisfaction on improving people's lives. And this is part of the interview that I really enjoyed and I hope you do as well. Tony Robbins, if you don't know him, is one of the, uh, he's one of the top trainers in the world today in the, in the world of personal development. And Frank Kern and John Reese are two internet marketers that are, uh, they're world famous in their own right for getting traffic uh, developing systems to help you build an internet business or, or marketing business online. So, but the first thing that people see when they look at an opportunity, they look at a relationship, is the potential of that business or of that relationship. Now, you know, we get excited about, we see the potential. You know, if it's a new girlfriend, if it's a, a wife, um, you are a new friend, but a business, you know, uh, we get excited about a new network marketing business and what do we do when we see potential we start to produce or start to take action we take massive action if it's a new girlfriend we start sending flowers um, you know or taking them to the movies or taking them on nice dates so we take a lot of action if it's a new business we start calling people we start posting on Facebook we get really excited and you know we take a lot of action massive action so from action we go to results okay if it's a, a new relationship boyfriend girlfriend whatever the case might be they may start to like you if it's a new business we start to produce sales uh, so remember we took massive action here we've created results and that leads to the fourth thing is belief okay big one here uh, our belief is, is way up now. We, we just started, we're taking massive action, we're, we're getting results, and our belief system's up. But what happens, you know, in, it doesn't matter if it's a relationship or a business, what happens when things don't go exactly the way we, we want them to do? Maybe the results aren't where you think they should be. We take less action, okay? We don't do the things we used to do when we were first started dating someone. We're married now, we've been married for 10 years, and we don't, we just quite simply don't do the same things, and we don't get the results that we want either. Less action produces what? Less results. That's in your business, that's in your relationships, that's with everything. And what happens in a relationship or in a business is your belief starts to go down. <clears throat> we may not believe in it as much anymore, is what we did, you know, maybe this wasn't the right thing. We're, we're giddy eyed with a new business or a new relationship, but over time that cycle, we've got a belief system here. We don't see the potential as much as we used to. They don't, things don't look as good. Maybe the grass starts to look greener, but as we complete that cycle, we keep going around <clears throat> with less and less of a belief system the reason why 95% of people quit MLM is their belief system is no longer what it used to be. So our results go down, belief goes down, and we just create this continuous cycle of we see less potential in relationships or our business, we take less action, we get less results until finally, you know, we're just ready to throw in the towel and we quit. So. The challenge is, you know, how do we keep our belief system up? This is the anchor for all of these things right here, okay? If your belief system's high enough, if your why is big enough, uh, you've heard, you know, find a why that makes you cry, that is the driver for all these things. So some things I would just suggest that, that you can do to improve your belief system and keep it up, uh, you know, whether it's a relationship uh, or a business, is to try to put something positive in your mind every single day. You know, 15 to 30 minutes of a positive book, uh, send cards and gifts for no 
apparent reason. You know, that's one of the habits that I have is, is just to send things out for no apparent reason other than just to send them. But I'm sending out positives to the world. If they want to come back to me, that's great. But if they don't, that's all right, too. Uh, but just sometimes you step back, too, and say, you know, maybe I want to look at this other deal, but what's the potential there? I mean, we can always be thinking about another thing, but we've got a base of people that are interested. People will follow you if you believe in what you're doing, too. We talk about the law of attraction all the time. Keep your belief level up, and I think you'll see an increase in your business, uh, improved relationships. You know, no matter what you're pursuing, work, do everything you can, stay positive, put good things in your mind, but keep your belief system up, and I think you'll see a, a better result in all facets of your life. I hope you enjoyed that video today, and we will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.